Hey everyone and welcome to the prerequisite session of the upcoming Android Bootcamp and it's all about how you can use Android, how you can build applications for Android and etc etc. We have got some awesome speakers lined up just for you guys but uh, before that you have some prerequisite conditions which you need to have fulfilled. One is you must have a very good internet connection so that you can uh, follow up with all the sessions that we are going through and the second condition is that you should have Android Studio installed but we can't do anything about you having a very good a very good internet connection but we can do something about you having android studio pre-installed so here is just the tutorial for that where we will be telling you about how you can install android studio and uh, how you can run it on any of your devices be it linux be it uh, mac or very simple windows operating system so let's go forward i have my entire setup here and let me just uh, screen share and we can then go forward with uh, how we can actually install and Studio. So this is a fresh install of uh, Windows. I don't have Android Studio installed in this. I will be going from scratch and show you and showing you guys that how you can install Android Studio. So let's go forward and fire up a web browser. Yeah. So we have very old Google here. The only thing that you need to write is uh, install Android Studio. Once you have written that, you have install Android Studio here. In this link, it's written just here on the URL bar. We'll be giving that in the description link. You can go here, go forward with all the steps here and understand how you can install on each and every operating system that is present here, be that Chrome OS as well. I don't think anyone, I haven't, I have encountered anyone who has Chrome OS in a system, but still, if you have Chrome OS, you can definitely use it. Now, it has uh, tutorials for Mac also, as well as Linux. Uh, this tutorial is more about a graphical interface, so you guys, you guys don't have to read through all this. You just see what I'm doing and do exactly that. And you can install Android Studio as well as keep it running on your entire system. So we'll go in this link and go here for download. Once it's open, we can click on download Android Studio. We'll get a lot of terms and conditions which we will agree to but ignore studying. We will simply download Android Studio. Yeah, it's going to take a while because it's around one gigs of uh, software, one gigs of EXE. So I'll meet you guys once this entire system is done. Okay. Okay, so now the Android Studio is all downloaded. You can just go to the place where it's downloaded. For me, it's right here on my desktop. 
you can double click that and it's just how you will you'll install any regular software linux users since you're already using linux you know how you can install any software on your system okay so you have to go through that particular process uh, you can start in any place and you'll just go and click install we'll wait for a few more a few more times so that uh, entire android studio is installed in your system once it's done then we'll fire up fire it up quick and we'll show how you can set up your entire uh, virtual machine as well for running applications on your pc so it's installed right here and we will be opening it's asking for uh, importing predefined config files we will not be using anything we will say do not import settings we'll go forward with the default settings it will ask whether we need to send some uh, data share we need to share some data with google or not i opt not to you guys can select send uh, usage statistics to google as well i personally opt not to give my data to do, uh, to google so i'll select don't send now we'll ignore all the updates that it shows here first of all we'll go to next we'll use the standard uh, standard install standard uh, settings we'll go forward i am a fan of a uh, dark theme so i'll go forward to the dark theme you guys can select the light theme as well but then i think you're not the native coder because that will stress your eyes the next thing we will be setting some of the searching some of the sdks that we'll be needing so we we'll select this we have we already have this and we already have android virtual device installed if you don't have that just go forward and select it so that you get an android virtual device for your system to run uh, apps on your pc okay now once you have that done you will have a list of uh, installs that you have to do then you just have to go and click on finish and it will again download all the files that you have selected and uh, it will after that it will actually install all these components one by one uh, we'll wait through the entire phase we'll just fast, fast forward and come to the point where everything is installed okay I guess everything is installed now. We can just see everything is installed. We can go forward and select finish. We have a new project here. We will not actually create a new project. We'll just get something from GitHub and just see for our reference whether it is working or not. So let's quickly fire GitHub once again. Uh, not GitHub, let's go to Google good old google and we will be selecting android studio project we just select one let's go and check something which is on their official official uh, system official file we'll just go and see any application that you're having Okay, we have a lot of uh, tutorials here where you can test your application and publish your application as well. We we'll just go forward and get one project from GitHub. So that will be cool. We have a cool application made on Android Studio. What we'll do is we'll just download the zip. Credits to the maker. I don't want to take any credits for this. This is just for reference. Uh, we will just go forward and uh, check our GitHub quick and get it on 
get that software on screen we'll open that we'll extract to desktop cool enough now we have this entire folder which is in the form of a project now what we'll do is we'll open a project we'll go to the designated uh, place that we have that is on desktop in use main we'll select this because whatever project you will be having you'll be seeing a very cool android logo beside it so select this and click ok and now it will be loading all the components that you're having once it's done you can ignore all these stuff trust project you can ignore all these stuff here get it not installed you can install git as well we already have a session on that you can go forward and check that out i'm not showing you how to install git and everything now in your project you can see your entire file structure okay yeah you can see your entire file structure we already have a gradle build that is running here it is importing the gradle and it's building the entire it's building the entire project basically we'll be learning the more technical terms in the upcoming boot camp that we'll be having so it'll, it'll download a lot of files and when it's done then we can go forward and fire up our android uh, virtual device manager we don't actually have a virtual device set up as of yet so let's quickly set it up we need a basic pixel 4 let's take a basic pixel 4 we'll get one we'll use android 11 we'll download that we'll accept it next and once we'll wait for it to download it'll again take 1.1 gb of download so let's give it some time so that you can download it okay once it's done uh we'll wait for some time for it to be completed okay we'll come back after it So once it's done, just click on finish. We have our setup here, select R, go to next. You have your entire setup here. We'll be using portrait. Since we want our virtual device to be in the in the portrait format, we can name this uh, like virtual device anything. Let's keep, I'll, I'll prefer to keep it in the default name. Now the graphics, uh, you can set it as well. Otherwise you can just keep it normal in advanced settings you have uh, some basic stuff you don't need to uh, fiddle with all these advanced settings just let it be whatever it is now just go to uh, finish and you already have an entire device running over like a device made up here okay now the gradle is still building so we'll give some time to it so that i can build up here you can uh, like commit and make all the changes that you need using your git if you have installed right in if you have git cli then you can use uh, this part and commit your changes directly to github now this is the resource manager where you will have all the resources piled up together and uh, this is where you'll see all the files of your project it's taking a little bit of time so let's give it a little bit of time so that you can load up and then we'll talk about it okay we'll give some time for it to build the gradle as well and we'll start the index index update as well so let's wait for some time more so that i can finish building up the gradle okay
since we have the entire build done and uh, we have the Gradle plugin can be updated so let's keep it there we're not going forward with that we have all these file projects updated as well we can see all the codes right here now you see a run uh, button here you see a play button here and you have the selected uh, AV, uh, android virtual device right here once you have selected that you have a specific configurations it is set to default since it's for the application you will know how to build your own configurations in the upcoming boot camp so with this uh, android virtual device uh, selected we'll go forward with run now it will start the entire like android device manage android device manager right here you have the virtual device and uh, it will start running okay so the build actually failed uh, there is a problem with the entire build uh, but we can see that the entire device is running we can switch it on we can see that it's uh, running properly and we have an entire Android virtual device on your phone which you can run you can install any application anything that you you can use it as your normal phone okay okay see it's everything and even in here you can go to any place like this and uh, you can try running anything here you want you can use any kind of uh, links that you want and you can you can actually start chrome here as you can see and no thanks see you have the regular old chrome here and you can just paste anything that you have copied right here and there it is okay just for copyright issues let's not go forward with that um i'll be closing it just before that okay so you got it that you can use it as your normal android device you have your back button home button tasks button you can touch the interface and run it so basically any app that you code can be ported here and you can use it directly on your virtual device or you can connect your own phone to it and run it that would be much more optimized for low-end laptops who cannot support virtual devices that um, which are not strong enough so we'll not go there we'll go there directly on the bootcamp day so i guess that's it for the entire installation process we have your entire project running here you have your gradle build here the project did not run obviously there might be some problems i don't own the project i'm taking no responsibility about that but we have the entire android studio up and running with the virtual device so now you are ready to take part in the upcoming android boot camp and i guess it will gonna be really great so thank you and see you in the upcoming android boot camp